I love our little get-togethers. Well, you know what I don't love? What? Not knowing where to put my money for retirement. There are just too many options. 401ks, IRAs, savings. It's so confusing. Well, you know where I put my money? Where? Bitcoin. What's Bitcoin? Bitcoin is the first decentralized digital cryptocurrency that works without a central bank. Well, that sounds interesting. Yeah, and it's so simple to use. Transactions take place through the use of cryptography and are verified by network nodes and recorded in an immutable public distributed ledger called a blockchain. What could be simpler than that? Nothing, it sounds great. Right, so is it like investing in stocks? Kind of, but not at all. Well, I'm on board. Really? Because I have so many more questions. Not me. <laughs> Where can I get one of these bitcoins? Can I buy one at my local bank? Of course not. What a dumb question. I thought it was valid. No, it was dumb. <laughs> bitcoins aren't like regular currency. They're mined. In a physical mine, like gold? That's ridiculous. Bitcoins are mined on computers using the SHA-256 hashing algorithm, creating 12.5 bitcoins per block. Uh-huh. That is until mid-2020. Uh-huh. And then afterwards, 6.25 bitcoins per block for four years until the next halving. Wait, are we still talking about money? Cryptocurrency. This sounds so simple. Shut up, Margaret. There's no way you understood all of that. Okay. So how much do one of these Bitcoins cost? $17,000. $17,000? That's insane. Sounds like a bargain. Ugh. And how do you keep track of these things' values? Just check the internet. So far today, its value has gone up $1,000 and now it's down $800, and now it's up $500. Sounds like you can't lose. <laughs> you absolutely can, Margaret. How do I buy Bitcoins? It's easy. Just go online and give them your credit card number. Give who your credit card number? Bitcoin, and then let the internet do what it does. What does it do exactly? It Bitcoins. Here's my credit card. No! So who started Bitcoin? We think it was Satoshi Nakamoto. Who is that? No one really knows. He sounds cute. <laughs> Margaret, I swear to God. And Bitcoin is the only cryptocurrency I trust with my kids' college fund. That's smart investing. That's bad crazy. Oh, now it's down to $3. Easy come, easy go. <laughs> <laughs> It's also important to note that the technology, innovation, and ideas underlying these market, markets present significant positive potential. Virtual currencies, Bitcoin specifically, have captured the attention of investors and speculators and computer programmers and regulators all over the world. I don't know how many people imagined how quickly and broadly Bitcoin and the technology it's based on would spread. It's nothing short. Uh, to most of us, it's nothing short of remarkable. It's clear that virtual currencies bring us into a new age. I usually agree with my friend from Louisiana. Um, but I think we may be on top of something that is transformational. And I don't think you can separate the underlying distributed ledger or blockchain from some of these crypto assets. And if we looked, if we had the same rate of increase, that we've, the next two years that we've had, the last couple of years, we're, we're talking now a couple hundred billion, we'd be at north of $20 trillion caught up in this area by 2020. Um, I remember back, I was lucky enough to get in the cell phone business back in the early 80s and everybody thought it was gonna be a small business and they were wrong and I got rich. I think we're looking at the same kind of transformation about to take place. Promising new technology referred to as distributed ledger technology or blockchain. Proponents of this technology assert that it will bring great efficiencies to our national and global economies, including our capital markets. I hope that it does. What we hear a lot of is people buying and holding. If you, if you go on to the Twitter universe, you'll see a phrase HODL, which means hold on for dear life. Nice. And the, the thinking is, is that they buy it and hold it. In fact, I, I mentioned in my opening remarks my 30-year-old niece who bought Bitcoin years ago 
and she's an HODL. She says, I'm going to own it. I don't know what's going to come of it, but I want to hang on to it. And she's, she's not a fraudster or a manipulator. She's just a kid and, and, and believes in it. And, you know, I was fascinated talking to her. And I think she represents a lot of folks that think there's something in this When I first heard about Bitcoin, it seemed just like this very stupid magic internet money. I didn't really think it was very impressive at all. And I kept reading, and within a couple hours, I became absolutely hooked. I was skeptical at first, didn't think it could possibly work, but have the skills to actually go in and look at it and convince myself that technically it was correct, that it could actually work. It was just a, an experiment to begin with, but I could see the potential with it. It's a fundamental innovation. That's, that's how I think of it. Bitcoin is the most important invention, um, at least since the internet. Ask yourself, which is more important in your life, money or email? And I think most people will say money, so this is bigger than email. It's just incredibly novel and interesting solution to problems.